Known for operating some of the largest helicopters in the world, Ericsson has called this area home since the early 70s. Today, Ericsson Aircrane is a leader in the industry with operations all over the world, but still maintain their bulk of their operation right here. Tell me about the company history. I mean, this is fascinating. Uh, Ericsson Aircrane was founded in 1971 by a guy by the name of Jack Ericsson, who was a logger. That was his profession. He owned trees, he owned mills. What he didn't own was a way to get the logs from the woods to the mills. Right. So he had the brilliant idea of using helicopters. So he was the first logger to use helicopters for heli logging. So we started uh, in that business in, in the mid in the mid 70s, and then it's evolved over the years. In the, in the mid 90s, we developed our fire tank system, and we now use the aircraft very heavily for firefighting. Uh, and, and obviously, that's a that's a very important aspect of sustainability of our natural resources is if you have a forest fire you want to be able to contain it as quickly as possible right. and the aircraft can actually be reconfigured after a forest fire to do what's called hydro mulching so they can actually aerial drop seed to re reforest after a fire. So, so these aircraft started life as military CH-54 helicopters we then purchased the type design from Sikorsky, so we're able to take these old military aircraft, completely refurbish them, and turn them out as a brand new commercial S-64 air crane. You really have to look under the surface sometimes to find companies like this that are doing really sterling work, but they're not obvious. You've got to scratch the surface, and this is a perfect example of how to recycle the past, and repurpose it for tomorrow. Now I lost the coin toss, so Don gets to be in this giant during this test. Well, I have to stay outside. This is just not fair. We, we are, are the, the right, right men for, for the, the job. job. Here's the deal, it takes about 15 minutes to start one of these up. The reason I'm shouting is that right now, they're about five minutes into the process start this, this noise is nothing. When this thing starts moving, believe me, you're going to hear about it and I'm going to feel it. This lifts 12.5 tons. All right, here we go, the sun is made out Okay, number two engine starter light is on. Get one is starting to turn 21 degrees on the T5. No fuel is showing and oil pressure is up. Number two igniter is on. Tons this beauty lifts. Unbelievable. And they, they walked us through every step of the way, every procedure, everything they did. They explained to us what was going on, and the vibration in there was just like incredible. I'm still shaking. 